In this lab, we are going to explore which pineapple juice contains enzymes that digest protein. Pineapple contains protein digesting enzymes called bromelain. As you may remember, enzymes are biological molecules that catalyze or increase the rates of chemical reactions. When a protein denatures during heating, stirring, or exposure to UV light, the bonds that hold a protein in its tertiary structure will begin to break. When these bonds break, the protein starts to unfold and lose some of its properties. If the protein is an enzyme, it will lose its ability to function as an enzyme. In summary, the enzyme we are using in this lab is bromelain. The protein we are using is collagen. When collagen is heated, it becomes soluble gummy gelatin, which we are using as our food source in this experiment. In this lab, we are going to place three varieties of pineapple juice, frozen, fresh, and canned, into plain gelatin and find out which variety digests protein the most. The first step of the experiment is making the gelatin in three separate petri dishes and refrigerating them overnight. I decided to conduct three trials for each variety of pineapple juice to obtain more accurate results. One petri dish will contain three samples of fresh juice, one will contain three samples of frozen juice, and the last will contain three samples of canned juice. After the gelatin had solidified in the fridge, I labeled the petri dishes according to the pineapple juice they contain, then made three wells in each petri dish with a straw. After making all nine wells, I drew with Sharpie on the bottom of the dishes the outline of the wells. I labeled the wells 1 through 9, with 1 through 3 to contain fresh pineapple samples, 4 through 6 the frozen juice, and 7 through 9 the canned. Next, I recorded the diameter of each well. Here I am adding the corresponding drops of juice to each well. At this point in the experiment, the petri dishes must be refrigerated for 24 to 48 hours. So, what are we looking for? Whichever petri dish has the wells who di whose diameter has, on average, increased the most is the petri dish that contains the juice that digests proteins the most. It has been 43 hours since I put the petri dishes in the fridge. This is what I found. Remember, the wells 1 through 3 contain fresh juice, 4 through 6 contain frozen, and 7 through 9 contain canned. I am retracing the outlines of the diameters of the new wells on the petri dishes. As you will notice, there is hardly any difference in the size of the wells containing frozen and canned pineapple juice. The wells that increased in diameter the most appear to be the ones containing fresh juice. Here I am measuring the new diameters of the wells. Here is my updated data table. As you can see on the right, I added the new diameters of each well. 
I also recorded the average diameters of the wells containing each type of juice, both before refrigerating and after. The average post refrigeration diameter for fresh juice was 0.4792 an inch. The average post refrigeration diameter for frozen juice was 0.2292 an inch. And the average post refrigeration diameter for canned was the same as pre refrigeration, 0.1875 an inch. So, to sum things up, the fresh juice wells increase in size the most. This means that the fresh pineapple juice contains enzymes that digest protein the most.